back to our channel இந்த வீடியோக்குள்ள போ முன்னாடி நீங்க ஒன்னு நம்ம சேனல்ல சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணல மறக்காம சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க வாங்க வீடியோக்குள்ள போலாம் back to our channel and this video we are going to solve the today's daily test so actually i am going to save the logic since i have tried the code and one test case has been passed and this test case one test case have been failed so this test case has not been working for me uh, but this is been working so i will explain you and if you can try this one and get the consolidate this output and you can share the code in the comment section so it will be more practicing session for you too so since i am daily making the more videos you people get more info from that so today you can also even try and you can upload it in our channel so the code you are giving in the comment section i will just try with that and if it gets passed out i will just give you a shout out in my next video and yes now let's get started so the question is spin game lucky number okay so what is uh, you know about a spin game there are n integers are written on a border of a wheel in clockwise direction okay and the value of n is always a multiple of 4 okay and now a boy chooses an integer l and a quadrant q before he spins the wheel in clockwise direction so uh, you might know of a spin game which consists of a circle in which uh, every border has a separate number and a ball will be get spin from that and will get into a number and if this number has get he will get price like that okay so similarly they have given the selected quadrant is nothing but the selected piece is considered just as a piece of four slices that's the one slice is a one quadrant so consists of four quadrant like that okay and now the L represents that he wants on the quadrant Q after he spins the wheel. Okay, the possible values of Q are given here. That is, uh, one is top right quadrant, and the two is top left, and three is bottom left, and the fourth quadrant is the bottom right quadrant. Okay, and now they have given that if he gets the integer L in the quadrant Q, then he will get the money triple the value of L. If he gets the integer L in the opposite direction Q, then he will get the money double of the value of L. Hence, he will not get the money. So they have given the two conditions here. The first condition next is if they given triple the value of L, then he gets the L in the opposite quadrant. So similarly, they have given the program must accept the n integers representing the integer written on the wheel and the values of L, Q, P as the input. Okay. The integer p represents the number of positions shifted by an integer when he spins the wheel. The program must print the integer representing the amount he can get. Okay, so you can see the sample input here. So the first line contains the n value, and these are the n values in the separated by space. And this is the l, and this is the q, and this is the present. Okay, so um, now let's get started here the l is 10 and okay initially the first quadrant that is the 84 and 68 will be present and then the quadrant 2 90 37 you can see the 90 37 and quadrant 3 54 and 83 and you also get the wrong number okay you get this is 69 but here they use 69 and 68 okay so similarly we must finally we must print how much money that he will get in his hand like that okay so if it is in the quadrant then it would be double so value of we are getting 10 to times 2 then we get 20 okay and similarly we are printing the next next output like this okay today i'm going to explain you my how i done this code the way of approaching in this okay so instead i am creating a function here calculate amount and the value 6 is the uh, n digits and the l q p okay now we are determining the size of each quadrant here okay the first quadrant 0 1 2 3 okay and now we must map the quadrant name to the indices uh, okay so for that quadrant map is equal to just we are mentioning like that and here you can see that and bound we must get the opposite quadrant mapping so i have used this one will be mapped to the three and two will to four and three to one and four to two okay and now we must calculate the new position after spinning the uh, wheel clockwise so for that p is equal to p modulus 
n why we are using this means this handles the cases where p is greater than n okay and now the rotated integers we are getting and now we must divide the integers into quadrants okay quadrants okay now for that i use this quadrant is equal to rotated quadrants this one is a, and now we must determine the quadrant index of the l so we are using this statement here so for that we are determining the quadrant index of the l okay so here we are using that and now after this when you are returning here zero this it as l is not found in any any of the quadrant here so if current is minus one and we must return in the zero and the x is there is no thing is found in that okay and now we must calculate the amount based on the l positions so we are calculating it that we are using the current quadrant like that the functions here so and finally we are input reading we are getting the n input and the integers separated by space and the l q p t also we are getting it here and finally we are calculating the amount or function and printing the result so i will just run the code and show you the output where does our error exist so this is my one of the test cases so you can see this this is the second test cases you can see that so now i am just running the code and you can see that i am getting the required output but similarly when i am trying this output you can see the same when i think when i am running this i am getting um, 46 as the output so but i need to get 69 as the output so this is the only but the concept and everything exists the same but i am still getting the error and if you can solve this one you people can just try it out and put in the comment section i will just make it as a next video for you people okay that's it i would like to share with you okay guys thank you for watching and we will see in the next video thank you once again